This is a very tragic story. Timothy Stevenson was sentenced to 16 years in prison for killing a man he met in a bar in 1998. He killed a man 26 years ago in Missouri and his husband secretly worked with authorities and investigators to get a confession out of him. He was married, Timothy Stevenson was married to a doctor. They lived in a $2 million home. And here in this picture, you see their twin daughters in a quiet suburb east of San Francisco. But he had a secret. He shot and killed a man that he met in a bar in Kansas City. The crime remained unsolved until 2021. By then, his personal life was unraveling. His husband had filed for a divorce the year before, and the couple were in a custody battle over the children. Authorities arrested him on murder charges in December and extradited him to Missouri. And this month, he pleaded guilty to second-degree murder and sentenced to 16 years in prison. He had told his husband 10 years ago, you should have kept your mouth shut that he killed someone, court documents say, but the truth crushed to the earth will always rise again. He told his husband about the killing he committed in Missouri. He said that he met a man named Randall at a uh, bar in January, 1998, and they drove to Stevenson's house in Kansas City where he shot him twice in the bathroom. But why? Randall pleaded for his life, or Randy, after the first shot. His body was found two months later in the woods in Missouri, about 100 miles southeast of Kansas City. Uh, Stevenson was familiar with the area because his father and grandmother lived nearby, and he'd been there many times. In his confession to his husband, Stevenson told him he later remodeled the bathroom to mask the crime scene and conceal the evidence. Wow. Stevenson's phone records revealed Roman charges from a cellular, cellular tower near where the victim's body was found in rural Missouri. Y'all yeah, some dumb criminals. Don't you know you can't have your phone at all? Just leave your phone somewhere. You can't have a phone or take the batteries out, but I heard you can't even have the phone around point blank, period. The new owner told them that parts of the carpet were missing when he bought it, um, the Jeep Wrangler that Stevenson had, but they found traces of blood in the Jeep's rear cargo area, but DNA evidence was inconclusive. Don't you know you had to use bleach? And it's not clear why the police didn't arrest him in 1998. Very sad story. And they say that Stevenson and Ganko were married in 2008 and they live with their daughters in Danville in San Francisco's East Bay, a suburb that was once named the safest in California. This is a very sad story. Very sad story indeed. Oh,